Are you gonna live someone else's life? I mean, is your life going to be a lie? That's what being a people pleaser is. How long have you been a people pleaser? How many years have you wasted like that? You know that doing what your parents want you to do in life is giving away your life, right? It's giving away your free will. Nobody is taking it from you. You're literally just giving it away. I've been there and I had the conversation. My parents took it so badly when I told them, it basically felt like I was saying I wanted to be a stripper. I'm from a middle class family, so my parents still think that you have to go to college to be successful. In fact, to have any self-worth at all. But I get it. I get their reaction now. And so, if I had to do it again, I would do it differently. So, since you're going through that right now, I hope that this video can help you with that. This video has been made for you. It's not a method, it's not a step-by-step -step guide. This is not school. There isn't one single way of telling your parents that will work for everyone. Such things don't exist. It is life. Your situation is unique and it matters more than you might think. So here's some advice I wish someone gave me before I had that conversation. First, Know why you want to quit school and have some kind of plan for your future. Your parents love you. They want what's best for you. And they are worried about you. And you? Want to travel? Want to start a business or just pile up some money until you figure out what you want to do with your life? What do you want to do? How are you going to do that? Why is it the best option for you? If everything turns out horribly wrong, the worst case scenario, how can you manage to make sure that it's still worth it. Not worth the risk, is worth it. Literally, I mean, how can it still be a great outcome for you? Do you get it? Take a pen and a piece of paper or open Google Doc or a notepad and, and note these questions right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. You won't be going to school. So what do you want to do? Why is it the best option for you? If everything turns out horribly wrong, the worst case scenario, how can you still make sure it's worth it? If you, are, if you are 18 or older, you don't necessarily have to justify yourself. But you have to be confident that quitting school is the right thing for you. That confidence and positive energy will resonate in everything you say and do. Your parents will see that you are confident and decided without you having to justify yourself too much. It's human nature and it's called mirror neurons. Everyone has them. It's because of mirror neurons that you get sad if you hang out with sad people. And it's why it hurts when you see a skateboarder explode his ball sack on a skateboard ramp. With your parents, it can work for you or against you. You choose. For example, when we started Is This Course Good, we knew that the worst case scenario was great for us. In the worst case scenario, we quit school, which we both hated and find unproductive, and get a lot of experience and take courses created by millionaires and successful people in which they tell us exactly how to get where they are. That made us extremely confident in our decision because we knew that the worst case scenario was a great scenario for us. Having confidence in my decision and the possible turnout helped me show them how proud and happy I was with my plan. They could see that it was something I had given a lot of thought to and not just some impulse. Second advice, be ready to take a hit. Again, your parents love you and they want what's best for you and their love might very well materialize itself in a, if you quit school. I want you to find an apartment, you're out of this house. It might be passive aggression. Son, we love you and we want what's best for you. But are you really going to screw your life up? We just don't want our son to be a failure. Do what makes you happy, we will always love you. But you've got to be realistic. What you just said is nonsense. Just try to forgive hurtful stuff they might tell you. Try to see it as them loving you too much for your own good. Stand tall and proud and don't try to rationalize with them. Stay calm and composed. The most important thing is that you live your life, is that you make 
your own decision. So no matter what happens, you stand tall and proud of living like a man. Third advice, don't forget that your parents act like monkeys. Listen, humans are creatures of emotion. You won't be able to rationalize the situation with your parents. Give your rational ideas and help them understand your decision, but you cannot convince your parents. Your parents can only convince themselves. Everyone thinks that they are in control. We like to think that we are rational. We like to think that we are good decision makers. But the reality is nobody acts rationally. Your parents will react emotionally. They will think emotionally. They aren't dumb or close-minded. They're just worried, angry and sad, you know. So treat them like really intelligent monkeys. So you talk emotions only. Here are two tools used by FBI hostage negotiators that I want to share with you. First tool, labeling. So you label their emotions. Example, you seem very upset. Then you shut up and wait. Make them feel listened to. Then maybe you have a chance to get your point across. Second tool, mirroring. Mirroring only is repeating two to four keywords with an intonation that makes it sound like a question. It's saying, please tell me more without actually saying it. So let's say they say something like that. Son, we don't want you to do that. You're gonna screw up your life. Screw up my life? Yes, son, of course that's what's gonna happen. You get it? Some people succeed, but most people that quit school end up unhappy and unsuccessful. It looks like you're worried about me. Thanks a lot, mom and dad, but I'm sorry, you said some people succeed. Yes, of course some people succeed and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So that's how you can use those tools. Don't overthink this. Just remember to stay calm, respectful, and transparent. Maybe then you have a chance to change their way of thinking. If you don't, well, now at least you're living your life. And that's the priority. I've been there and I know it's hard. And you might very well fuck things up, but stay true to yourself. And most importantly, don't act like a little bitch. You got this. I know that like me, you're smart. You just don't feel like staying in college is a very good idea now, right? And I get it. Look, I dropped out of college twice. Everyone was thinking that I had no ambition. But you and I both know that today's world is different. In today's world, dropouts are leaders, billionaires. In today's world, it's stupid, dumb to think that going to college is the only way or the best way. Again, your situation is unique. And if it sucks, it's your fault and your responsibility to make something great out of it. You could be traveling Asia while studying on your laptop. You could start a business or you could do nothing but sit on a couch forever, which I don't recommend. You should aim for more. I believe that you can make a difference. You could help make a better world. Everyone can. If you want to know what's possible when it comes to learning with online courses, like how to become a self-taught data scientist web developer, copywriter, or create your own company and your own brand, you should subscribe to our channel. So what's it gonna be? Are you going to act like a pussy? I believe in you. Keep learning and growing every day and I'll see you next week.